watch the other soccer game yesterday? Woo! See that? That travesty? Uh, I'll tell you what the problem was, though, is uh, all those Japanese players have been exposed to radiation, so clearly they developed superpowers. Because <laughs> uh, that's what happened to Spider Man, the Hulk thing. You know? So we just got to do it, is what happened. Uh, did you guys see uh, that uh, J Lo and uh, Mark Anthony broke up? Yeah. Pretty lucky for us guys, guys. You know, that woman is hot. Hot. Alright, but uh, you know why they broke up, right? Mark Anthony saw Gili. <laughs> And, uh, you know, you can't blame J-Lo either for wanting to bring up with Mark Anthony. You can't trust anybody with left name Anthony right now. No. Oh. no, it's true, it's true. Um, so, uh, you guys know who Michelle Bachman is, guys? Yeah. Oh, Michelle yeah. Bachman, the GOP uh, candidate, uh, she's ahead of Mitt Romney by one point right now, uh, who happens to be the favorite. Uh, but I think Michelle Bachman's one of two things. She's either the bringer of the apocalypse, <laughs> Or she is a plant by the Democratic Party to discredit the Republicans and making us all think they're stupid. <laughs> that might be the case. Might be the case. But uh, Michelle Bachman, she's such an interesting character. Like, uh, she, uh, she, uh, she quoted John Wayne. She said, I want to have the spirit of John Wayne. He grew up down the street from my house. But unfortunately, she was crediting the, uh, the wrong John Wayne. She credited John Wayne Gacy. Because <laughs> John Wayne, the actor, grew up 150 miles from where she lives, in Winterset, Iowa. She lives in Waterloo, Iowa. So, uh, that's uh, another uh, thing for there. She's actually got a bunch of quotes that I didn't bother to memorize, but are just fucking hilarious. Uh, let's see. Uh, what a strange time we live in, where a judge can tell a boy that he doesn't have to learn the Pledge of Allegiance, but he has to learn homosexuality and try it. <laughs> yeah, Michelle, we all have to try homosexuality. It's part of your, uh, your uh, college ritual. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Oh, gay marriage is the biggest issue in the last 30 years. I don't understand it. Well, if you look at your husband, he's a giant gay. So <laughs> you should check that out. And 50% uh, of all African-American pregnancies end in abortion. That's just true. So, okay. uh, oh. so uh, Marcus Bachman is her husband. And... Uh, Mark Spockman, his job is to cure the gay. So if you have gay in you, he'll cure it. <laughs> no, that's true, that's true. Uh, and the, uh, the, the number one reason for being gay is to actually be married to Michelle Bachman. <laughs> yeah, no, check it out, I'm serious. Um, so I was in Puerto Rico last week. And uh, <laughs> I was hanging out with my girlfriend and we were, uh, we were having dinner. And uh, there was a couple next to us, and there's a young black couple, and my girlfriend's black. And uh, they're, they're really nice, so we wave and say hi to them. And uh, the girl was, uh, she was a beautiful girl, beautiful girl. The guy was on his cell phone the whole fucking time. And I was just thinking to myself, how can I do that? Because <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to talk to you, but I guess I have to. But anyway, so his food comes. And he takes his food and he pushes it away, like a, like a petulant child. And she takes his food, and she moves her plate over, and she takes his food, and she starts cutting his food into bite-sized pieces. And I'm like, damn, what the fuck? And my girlfriend gets all up at me, and she's like, she's like, what the fuck? She's like, she's like, oh no, she didn't fucking just start cutting his food. And I was like, yeah, she just started cutting his food. It's so fucking cool. She's like, no, it's not. She's like, I'm gonna tell her. I'm gonna write her a note. I'm like, don't write her a note. You're gonna start a fight. She's like, you can take him. I'm like, that may be true. <laughs> but I don't want. Puerto Rico, it's a good time. So, uh, so she writes him a note. So I decide to follow the guy to the bathroom. And there's a trough in the bathroom. I don't know if you guys have ever like encountered the trough and not the stall. It's fucking unnerving. So he's peeing there. So I walk up beside him and I'm like, how do you do it? And he's just peeing a river. And I'm just fucking like dripping. And he's like, what are you talking about? And I was like, the food kind. How do you get your girl to cut the food? And he's like, man, mind control. That's what it's all about. It's about mind control. I was like, I don't fucking get that, man. And then he walks away. And he didn't divulge the rest of the secret. I was mad. I was like, what the fuck, man? Mind control. Then my girlfriend hands him the note, and they walk off. And that's pretty much the end of that story. So I gotta, I gotta roll that one a little bit. Yeah, I know. It's not going to be a lot better. So, uh, so the first time I ever saw porn was, uh, was in the woods. I don't know if 
you guys never uh, <laughs> You guys, uh, young men out there, if you ever see porn, it's always like a dirty magazine. It's in the woods. You know, it's always something like like Hustler or Screw or Orientales or something like that. You know, it's never like Playboy. You know? And another running theme is it's always wet. Why is it so wet? Is it because it's outside? Or is it because somebody's been fucking jerking off on it? Guys, if you're going to jerk off on it, jerk off to the sign. <laughs> jerk off right in the magazine. There's articles in there. I want to read those articles, okay? I don't want to have to peel apart your sperm soap magazine so I can scratch up the part where you blew your load on the Charlie Sheen article. All right? <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks a lot. Please give it up for Miss Allison Livy. Come on.